Hello, this is Skipper, and welcome to Learning Computer Craft with Skipper. Um, today, we're going to have a look in our first episode at these little guys here. And these guys are called turtles. And what they do is various things. We have the regular turtle, which can move around and stuff, and pick up things, pick up uh, like entities. We have the mining turtle, which can dig through all blocks, really, apart from uh, like non-player editable blocks like bedrock and stuff. Um, we have the crafting turtle. I don't really know what that one does, but we'll learn together. Melee turtle, which can fight things. Uh, the digging turtle, which can dig things that are uh, usable with a shovel. Uh, the felling turtle, which can sort of cut down things that an axe can is specialised for. And the farming turtle, which can hoe the dirt, harvest crops, stuff like that. So, what can you do with these things here? Well, with the uh, with all the turtles, you can do this uh, some stuff here. Well, with the uh, regular turtle, you can do things that all the other turtles can do. Um, so, what we can do, we can go into the turtle, and here we go. This is what you get if you right-click on the turtle. Turtle OS 1.4. Now this runs using something similar to DOS, so you can um, have a look around, see what we've got here. CD ROM, change directory into the ROM directory, what have we got in here? All these things here, help, programs, startup, APIs. So if we go into programs, uh, what's in here? All manner of things. So we have more folders up here, so we have an alphabetical list at the top, and then a second alphabetical list. This sort of shows that the top alphabetical list is folders, second alphabetical list is uh, like commands or, or programs. So if we want to reboot the uh, want to reboot the turtle, we can go just type reboot. Goodbye. And there we go, back in with a, a fresh thing. And you can see that we are in the root directory. We've got the ROM in front of us. So we can change directory like you can in front, you can use forward slashes. <coughs> Excuse me. So we can go into ROM, programs, and then what do we have here? Right. Mm, secret. It can remain a secret. So, if we want to change directory into the turtle directory, and then see what we have in here. These are all programs that the turtle can do. So, in this turtle, because it's a regular, basic, boring old turtle, we can just do the dance, go, refuel, and turn. Now, refuel. Turtles run on all manner of fuel. So, these are these are available on the wiki. So it runs on things like wood, or coal, charcoal, sticks, blaze rods, you know, regular Minecraft fuel. So, if we want to see how the fuel level is, we can type get. Oh, hang on. We can type refuel. So, oh, it's got fuel. How's it got fuel? Uh, let's try that again. Refuel. Okay, so it's got fuel. What about these here? Have they got fuel? These haven't got fuel. Why has this one got fuel? Maybe I've used it before. Well, it's got fuel. So if we want to add some fuel to it, we can get... I see I've set this to be uh, 10. So if we get 10 coal, put this in its working slot. This is the... This is the uh, sort of the inventory of the turtle, and we have these in the working slot here. We can tell it to refuel, and it will take up one of them, and it will tell us the new fuel level. So that's taken up, what has that taken? Sort of 90 something of... 90... Uh, I don't know how much this taken up. <laughs> it's, it's maths, I can't do maths, it's fine. Don't worry. Um, it would be... <laughs> We'll be fine together. Yeah. So that's taken the refuel, and we can tell it to refuel all of them. We go refuel nine. It'll take up nine items from the slot. So there you go, plenty of fuel. So it's not going to run out when we're looking at it. So let's just reboot. Get rid of all that rubbish. Here we go. Back into lovely clean Turtle OS. Um. So what can we tell it to do? Well, we saw in the Turtle folder that we've got some programs that we can tell it to do. So we can do things like go forward or even the go command. So go, forward, 
ten. Oh, off he goes. Oh, oh, oh. Is it stuck? It's stuck. Let's remove that. Ah, uh, there we go. Not quite done ten yet. Ten. Ah, uh, there we go. And we can tell it to turn right. Two. There we go. And then we can tell it to go forward ten. But we don't want to do that because that would be a little too easy. We just told it to do that all the time. So what we're going to do, we're going to make a very, very simple program. The language it uses is Lua. So if we go into Edit, Go Home. So we're now in the program load. So we've got the lines down here, and the first line of our code, second line, third line. And you press Control to access this menu here. Save, exit, print, arrow keys. So what, what we're going to do. So we want it to go 10 blocks, don't we? So we're going to have to repeat the forward command 10 times. So for i equals 1 to 10. So for 10 iterations, do tab in, just so we get them all organized. Do, uh, what can we tell it to do? Oh yes, turtle dot forward parentheses, end the for statement, and then we want to tell it to uh, turtle dot turn right, and the same again, turtle dot turn right, and then end the program. So control, save it, save the program, exit. So let's go home now. Hmm. Of course, I would have made an error. Of course, of course. So, what's wrong here? Ah, because we've rendered the program already. So, what can we do here? What can we do here? I don't know what we can do. <laughs> I'm learning this too. I'm learning this too, guys. So, we're going to put another for statement here. For i equals 1, do, and then that'll do all of that, and then end. So let's see. Let's see if that works. Find one that needs a comma. Okay. Okay, here. So 1 to 1. Okay, let's see if that works. Go home. Ah, excellent. Let's place this back here. Aha, so there we go. We've written a very simple uh, Lua program. So, what this does, we're just going to tab in a bit here and keep it organised. So, what it's done, for the iterations of one to one, so one time, it's done everything until the end statement. And then within that, it's done this for statement. So for iterations 1 to 10 of this statement, it's done turtle.forward. So it moved forward, as we saw, 10 blocks. And then it turned right twice, and then that was the end. Okay. So if we wanted to, to make if we wanted to make it go these, backwards and forwards a couple of times, we can change this top one here. So if we change this here, so iterations 1 to 3, or 4. Uh, Okay. Oh, yeah. For four iterations, it'll do this. If we save, exit, and then use the up arrow key and up and down to go between our recent uh, typings, recent entries. So let's go home. So it's going to do that four times. One, two, three, four. Now this is all well and good. This is all nice and fun. We can make it move around. But there's much more to this. It can also move up and down and it can detect whether there are blocks in front of it. So, put these back here. Right, let's edit our program. Edit, go home. Here we go. So, in fact, no, we're going to start a new program. We're going to call it edit. Uh, edit. Block. Detector. Okay. So what do we want it to do? What do we want this program to do? Well, we want it to go forward until it sees a block, 
and then go back and then turn around. So we want it to go forward, see the block, turn around, see the block, turn around. So because that's two things, it's going out and back, we're going to call it I have a for statement i equals 1 to 2. So for two iterations, it's going to do tab in for organizational sake. So for two iterations, it's going to do it's going to do what? If not, so if this following statement is not true, so if turtle.detect, so if that's not true, if it doesn't detect a block right in front of it, right here, so if that block was there, it's true, it detects a block. If it's not there, it's false, it doesn't detect a block. So if that's not true, then it's going to turtle dot forward. Okay, then. Uh, else, so if it becomes true, we're going to tell it to turn around twice. So, turtle dot turn right, and then again, turtle dot turn right. So we're going to end that if statement, and then we're going to end the program. So save, exit. So block detector. There we go. Oh, hang on. What are you doing there? It's gone forward two blocks. That's not quite correct. Hmm. Hmm. Let's let's just do something here. Let's one second. Let's get the uh, refuel so we can see what the fuel level is. Seven thousand and thirty-four. And every block it travels, it uses up one fuel. So we can use this fuel level to limit the number of blocks it goes. So if we tell it to only do this program while the fuel is above 7,020, say, then it will move 14 blocks. Let's do 7,010. So if we go into Edit Block Detector, and we change this for statement to a while statement, I think this will work. I'm learning this too, guys. I'm learning this too. So while turtle dot get fuel level, is greater than 7,010, do this. So we'll save and then exit. And then we'll try and run block detector. So, oh, it found a block. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, it's so much fun. It's so good when it works. And Lua is really surprisingly very easy to use. So there we go, it stopped. So now let's just hit refuel again. Ah. Fuel level, 7,010. Excellent, excellent. But of course, if we run it again, it won't do anything because the fuel level is not greater than 7,010. Okay, lovely. But that's, 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 that's nice. What can we make it do? What else can we make it do? Well, we've got another, another, another couple of these uh, turtles here. What can we make them do? Well, we can see, or even we can demonstrate, that they can see what's underneath them. So, we're going to edit... Uh, 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 I don't know what we can call it. Uh, we'll just call it Program 1, because I'm really inventive. <laughs> so, we can call this 4 i equals 1 to 20, so it'll do this whatever we tell it to do 20 times. So if um, if turtle dot block turtle dot sorry detect down oh dear what's wrong with me so if there's a block underneath it then it will turtle dot forward Else, if there's no block underneath it, it will do turtle dot turn right and turtle dot turn right and then turtle dot forward. End the program after ending the statement. So what this will do here 
it's going to check 1 to 20 times, so it's going to check 20 times, 20 iterations, I. If there's a block underneath it, detect down, then it's going to go forward one. If there isn't a block underneath it, it's going to turn right twice, it's going to turn right way around, 180 degrees, and then go forward again. And repeat that 20 times. So let's see what this does. So let's run program 1. Nothing there. Oh dear. Oh, back we go. Oh. Ah, oh, beautiful. Ah, oh, it went right back to the start. See, the reason 20 times made it follow a four long line four times is because it's actually taking five steps to go along one line. So if it starts here, it's got one step, two step, three step, four step, five step, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, ten steps, it goes back and forward once. That's lovely. So, what else can we do? Well, instead of just making it go turn around, we can make it come back again. So if we do this, and we go edit program 2, we can say 4, and because it's a square, it's got 5 times 4, so 20 steps will go all the way around. So for i equals 1 to 20, so for 20 iterations, it's going to do this. It's going to, if turtle dot detect down, so if that's true, then it's going to turtle dot forward. If that's not true, so if there's no block underneath it, it's going to dot uh, back, so it's going to move back one block, and then it's going to turn right. Uh, turn right. Mental block. Left. So we're going to end the if statement, oh, and then we're going to end the program. So 20 times it's going to check if there's a block underneath it, and if there is, it's going to move forwards. If there's not, it's going to move back once, and then turn right. End. Let's save that. Let's run it. So program 2. Uh-huh. Oh, there's nothing. Ah, beautiful. So it should hopefully end up right back here when it's done with all this. Ah, excellent. Lovely. Right, we need another turtle. One more thing left to do. Right, where can we find turtles? Here they are. So turtle. Here we go. Right, we can also make it avoid obstacles. Oh no, we've already done that. Let's not do that. What else can we do instead? Um, 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 I don't know what we can do here. What can we do here? Give me a second, guys. I'm going to construct something uh, cool enough for us to do with it. Okay, so for the end of this episode, this is just like basic navigation, isn't it? So, let's do some slightly less basic navigation. I don't know how to do any of this. I'm going to work it out as we go along as well. And I think I'm going to use another program to write this rather than using it in the uh, actual turtle. Uh, while it's easier to test in the turtle, it's also very difficult to see it properly in the turtle. So, we're going to try and make it go around this little path. So it's got to go forwards until it meets this uh, this little corner, and then it's going to go around here, and then left, and then right. See, until now it's quite easy, because we can say, first time you turn, turn to the right, second time you turn, left, and then turn right. But it's got to know to turn right again, because if it gets here, and it tries to turn left and then right, it's going to turn left once, then turn right once, then turn left once, blah 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 blah. So what we're going to want to do is slightly modify our method. So what we're going to do is make it, when it comes to the wall, it's going to try turning right. If it turns right and there's no block, great, it's going to go forward. If it turns right, so here, if it turns right and there is still a block, then it's going to turn 180 degrees and then go forward. Okay, so I'm going to hop over to, actually no I'm not, I'm going to write it here. Let's write it here. Who cares? Edit Pathfinder. So we're going to call the program Pathfinder. So, um, we're going to give it 10 blocks of coal. So, oh no, exit out of that. Oh dear, no my, no. <laughs> exit. So, refuel. Fuel level is 96. So, 
Uh, let's just tell it to do this until until it runs out of fuel. Let's just do that. It's just going to do this until it runs out of fuel. Okay. So, edit pathfinder. So, wire temple dot get fuel fuel level uh, is greater than zero. Do. So it's going to do all of this as long as the fuel is there, as long as it has some fuel. So, it's going to if there's nothing in front of it, so if not turtle dot detect then then we're then we're, we're fine. It's going to go forward. Turtle dot forward. If there is something in front of it, this is when it starts getting crazy, because this is when we want it to try the two directions. So if there is a block in front of it. Then we want it to do these things. Then the logical thing is it's going to turn to the right. If there's a block, it's going to just, that's fine, it's good. Else. Else. Uh, uh, else. Do we want another if statement already? I don't know, let's, 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 let's try it. Let's try it. Let's go crazy. Else. Turtle dot turn right. And then we want if turtle dot detect. Oh, then we need a then. Then um, turtle dot turn right. Turtle dot turn. Oh, turn. Right. End. So, it's going to turn right. If it finds a block, it's going to turn round all the way. End. Then. End. Then. End. So this, what this should do, is, while it has fuel, it's going to go into this tier, and then if there's nothing in front of it, it'll go forward. If there's something in front of it, it's going to turn right. After it's turned right, if there's something in front of it still, it's going to turn all the way around, and then that should work. So let's see. Save. Exit. Pathfinder. So here we go. All the way forward. Turn right. Nothing there. Turn right. Something's there. Oh, beautiful. Turn right. Oh, man, isn't that great? Isn't that great? Isn't that something special? Oh. I, I'm so pleased that it worked. I'm so pleased that it worked. <laughs> oh, glorious. So we're going to do this until this fuel runs out. Oh, and this beautiful sunset as we watch our little guy rummage around. So, there we go. Next episode, we're going to have a little bit more of a look at probably not these guys anymore, because I think we've done pretty much everything that's fun that I can think of for these guys. We can just do... There's more complicated things you can do with this sort of decision making. You can make it uh, like, I, re I reckon you could probably make it follow a maze perhaps, or oh, there we go, fuel's on out. Let's have a look. Let's get rid of that actually. Oh, it's managed to find where the fuel is. That's clever. I didn't know it would do that. Um, but yeah, so we see it's got 92 fuel, 96 fuel, so it must have had zero to begin with because each column gives you 96. So there we go. I've been Skipper, and I hope you've enjoyed this this uh, first episode. Uh, if there's anything else you want to particularly learn, then give me a message. Although for the first few episodes, I'm just going to be doing sort of whatever comes to mind because I don't really know what's going on either with this stuff here. I started using this today, and here we go. This is what you can do if you set your mind to it. Go on the wiki, look up the APIs, look up how to use Lua. That's fun. Lots of fun. So next episode, we're going to look at the uh, the mining turtle, and we're going to find out how to make it branch mine for us. How do we make this turtle, this little guy here, construct a branch mine, complete with torches, complete with torches, so no monsters will spawn, 
and then it's going to come home and give us all of its goodies. Give us all the goodies. Okay, I've been Skipper. Thanks, guys.